Guys, you know I'm a brand ambassador for Rosecraft. They have sent me their Taracona, and it's definitely a Halloween-themed knife with that pivot collar. So I dig this a lot. Let's turn this around. We'll look at the good and the bad on this first day, first impressions. All right, let's get into this flying into it blind review. This is the Rosecraft. Give me a moment. This is the Rosecraft Taracona. And every time I think of that, all I think is like the Tiki Room. Tangaroa, the father of the gods, turned himself into a tree. If like if you're a Disneyland guy like me. So I've been carrying this all morning this morning. And I have to say, when I first unboxed this, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I didn't use it. And as you can see, it's gotten some use today. Now, this is a really good cutter with a unique profile so it's got this really cool blade that's got this like multiple faceted angle on here but that's you know that's just looks this thing cuts really well this is one of the rosecraft knives that has got a very good really nice behind the edge profile on a nicely done blade now i'm not sure about blade steel on this one some of their knives are in d2 some of them are ar rpm 9 this one is in g10 so this like i said first day First day impressions, first impressions on this knife. So I'm flying into it blind. You can reverse flick off of the thumb studs. You've got a flipper tab on it and a, you can thumb flip off of this. The handles are really slender, which means when it's closed, you have a nice slender profile that typically I'm not a fan of this, this slender of a handle, but on this knife, it seems to work. That was one of my, that was one of my first impression things when I first unboxed it that I wasn't really a fan of, but after I've used it for a few hours now, you've got a pretty secure grip and it's something that if you're working in an office or you need a light duty knife, you definitely can get by with that. It does have reversible pocket clip. It is really a deep carry pocket clip on this and it's not the typical pocket clip they have. I have their way here because I was showing, I wanted to show you guys the difference. I prefer this style pocket clip because a pocket clip because a lot of times it's a, a good bit more comfortable for me personally, but this one doesn't seem to be an issue. It sits in my hand in a good spot and it's pretty comfortable. The knife is very attractive. All the Rosecraft knives have been really good looking either with a multicolor handle. Usually I like the red and black because well, technically that's my channel colors. Uh, but they do a really good job with these pivot collars as well. Just a pop of color. And then, like I said, really nicely done blade. All black on this. It's blacked out. And one of the things I wanted to point out is the balance on this is something I like. You guys always hear me talk about I like either a balance that is forward of the pivot or just at the pivot like a neutral balance. And this definitely has that. It sits right there. So in hand, you've got a really nice balance. I'm not a fan of tail-heavy knives. I definitely prefer tip heavy, but like I said, a good, oop, a good neutral balance right there where your fingers will sit on that lock bar. And then the final thing, action on this is really nicely done. It's good and smooth. It's got a really good access to the flipper tab on this because it sticks out fairly far. And you've got really nice access, good access to the lock on this liner lock. They've done nicely done liners that are completely hidden. And the final cool thing about this is it doesn't have a lanyard hole. It has a lanyard post, which is something I absolutely appreciate because this is an attractive knife and it's fairly small. There's just no real way to put a lanyard hole in it. I wish more companies would start doing this either in their backspacer or something like that. And it just allows everybody that option. I'm not opposed to lanyards. I'm opposed to lanyard holes. And now we have a new rating system. So at the end, I'll tell you how I feel, whether it's a yup or a nop or a nah. So that's, uh, this is machine machine company, uh, Ty over there provided this uh, domino worry stone. So let's turn this around after you guys hear from a channel sponsor and look at the things that I'm not a fan of. And it's only a couple things. Guys, did you know that Coffee Brand Coffee has more than just awesome on-demand roasted coffees and flavored coffees? They also have tea, cocoa, cold brew bags, decaf, and they have premium candies that will make your family go nuts. So check them out with the link down below to save 10% on some of the best coffee you're going to find. Not a lot negative to say about this. It's a very attractive knife. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first things first, I, I really wish, this is one of my big things. I like the fact that they did do an ambidextrous pocket clip so you can carry it left or right-handed. Um, but there's an open hole there that I like, if you just put a plate in and one screw, it doesn't take a lot. You could basically make a pocket clip 
and just have extra pocket clips and just take that piece, grind it off flat, leave it flat and then marry it up and then just screw that in. And, and it would fill this up because not only are you getting stuff down in there, that's a sharp point. I, let me zoom in so you guys can see a little better. That is a fairly sharp point on there. And a lot of people are going to feel that if you've got sensitive hands, it will be definitely much, much more noticeable. Uh, next thing, the plunge. The plunge could have come out maybe, maybe a millimeter more. Uh, because you can see here, you've already gotten into where you have a little bit of a grind on the heel here. Uh, it's going to it's going to ramp up really easily. And just opening this up ever so slightly, it doesn't take much. You can see where that shadow starts to fall, it, like maybe a millimeter or two more. You're not going to lose that much blade length on that. Uh, pocket clip. The pocket clip does move, even though it's a really good pocket clip and I can get past that on these contoured scales, these pocket clips do move and you can feel it kind of squeak. Not a big deal. It's just something that I find, like I find it in knives and then I typically get past it, but it does happen and it kind of, I find it kind of distracting uh, when you're doing stuff like that. And then the final couple things, the flipper tab is one of those flipper tabs that stands out kind of proud. It is a good finger guard, but I think that that flipper tab could have been done maybe a little smaller to give it a little better look. And then the final thing, the thumb studs for me are great, but you guys can see my thumb is just wrecked, right? Well, I've got a lot of calluses that could have been done so that these thumb studs were not quite as sharp, maybe make the thumb studs a little broader across the base. And then that would mean that they would not have near as sharp transition. And then you could just knock the edges off of those a little bit. They are really good thumb studs for use. But for some people with the strength of the detent on some of these knives, it's going to be problematic for some people. It might just be a little bit too sharp for them. So other than that, uh, we've got our new grading system. Yup or nah. I do like this knife a lot. We're going to give it a yup. So we're not going to see a lot of use from this. Go check out machine machine company he's doing all these cool things this is his domino haptic worry stone uh, i'm just using it as a rating system for knives now but go check him out ty's a great dude he's a he's a paying member on the channel and he's doing some really cool machining so these are his uh october uh, halloween inspired ones so let's turn this around do some final thoughts and send you out about your day this is this is a very good little knife i'm digging it a lot when i first unboxed it i was not i was kind of on the fence on how i felt about it because the handles were kind of thin i've carried this for a few hours now i really definitely find it to be a nice little option it's a nice slender thin knife and I'm digging a lot. We'll see. I'm going to carry this for a couple more weeks and then do the full review. And we'll see how I feel about it. Rosecraft is awesome sending this stuff to me. I am a brand ambassador. So they do send this stuff to me for free for review. I don't make any money on the reviews and I don't make any money on sales. But I have provided you with a coupon code of crazy sharp, all one word over there. You can also use that at my Sponsors down below, Tempered Trail, Coffee Brand Coffee. I have a third sponsor. I don't have a coupon code with them. I'm sorry. It is Doll Strong Knives, but you can go check out all of my sponsors down below. I'm not sure which one I threw in, but they're all great. Coffee Brand Coffee, thanks again for being my first full-time sponsor. Uh, other ways you can sp uh, support the channel. If you're going to buy knives, I have got links to almost every vendor down below. Blade HQ, Knives, uh, uh, Knives Ship Free, GP Knives. They're all down there. You can check them out. I have a membership down below. Check it out. Pick a tier that works for you. There's a lot of different benefits, but everyone, everyone gets uh, exclusive content. They have access to my private chat server, my private Discord. Um, I do a bunch of stuff. I do giveaways for the premium and baseline guys. The premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series. I also have got an Amazon store. Take that link to your browser. Use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. And I have built a public discord for you guys that all you guys can join join the community there's links to all that down below i love you guys keep it clean in the comment section if it's your birthday happy birthday and i'll see you next time